Well, great. So I, I really enjoyed that. Uh, I was at the IHS. Uh, it's been uh, over a year now and uh, brings back uh, very, very fond feelings, both of uh, the uh, great uh, research I've done there, the great connections I've made, and just of the great uh, human interactions I've had there. And I'm sure many of you can say the same. And I'm sure all of you mathematicians, physicists, people who follow have rec recognized uh, the uh, speakers, the professors, the, the events on those uh, posters, and, and just know that the IHS is really at the core of basic research in mathematics and physics worldwide. This is really just a integral part of uh, world history, and uh, we're, we're all privileged to uh, be associated and part of it. So uh, there were words at the end uh, that challenge of trying to summarize a place like that in one word. And, and, and certainly freedom is a very good word that uh, was mentioned, but I'll add another word, which is uh, depth, the ability to use that freedom to think about the problems of the deepest possible nature that uh, are important today, that will stay important uh, forever, and to uh, try to uh, answer these questions. So uh, let's uh, continue with our next uh, guest of honor. So uh, Jim Simons is the uh, chairman of the board and founder of uh, Renaissance uh, Technologies and uh, Marilyn Simons and Jim founded the uh, Simons Foundation, one of the uh, great uh, supporters of uh, scientific research around the world. And uh, Jim has been at the IGS uh, several times, a very well-known uh, mathematician as well as a uh, philanthropist and uh, investor. Uh, Jim, Marilyn, uh, thanks uh, so much for uh, being able to join us. Uh, do you have a word that you could use to describe the Institute, uh, Jim? The one word that I would associate with IHS is unique. There's no place like it. Great. Marilyn? Hard going last when everybody else has given such good words. My words. first word was inspired. My next word was unparalleled. So I think I would say um, peering. I feel like I'm peering into future knowledge. So I have to say peering and perceptive. Right. Hearing. Yeah, very good. Thanks. That, that, that's, a good, that, that's a good one. Uh, both of you. So you, you've really been uh, some of you know, the key sponsors of uh, the Institute. So much uh, in, in, you know, has, has been due in part and thanks to your uh, generosity. Uh, uh, both of you, uh, perhaps start with uh, Jim. You know, how, how did you first encounter the IHES? Uh, can you say a few words about that and how, how, the, how this uh, lifelong relationship uh, developed? Well, when I was a mathematician, I knew about IHES. Um, I visited here once or tri twice, relatively briefly, but I thought it was terrific. I interacted with, uh, I'm trying to remember what his name was, but uh, one of the permanent members here. And uh, it, it was a good interaction, as I recall, a mathematical interaction. But, um, uh, and I was very good friends with uh, Pierre Bourguignon, uh, and uh, who was a director. And uh, I think his predecessor, Marcel Berger, uh, was he, uh, am I right in that? Berger was a uh, director mm -hmm. here. You're all right. <laughs> yeah, and, and my thesis uh, sprung from Berger's work. So I always uh, had a soft spot in my heart for Marcel. So, you know, I've interacted with the place. But we wanted to give money to it because it's just terrific. And our goal and the foundation is to support basic basic research in mathematics and and uh, and science. And, uh, there's no better place to support basic research than uh, right here. 
Thanks, thanks, Jim. Uh, Marilyn, would you like to add to that? Well, um, first I'll say how I first heard of IHES. Of course, it was through Jim. I think I was 23 or 24 years old and Jim and I were in Paris and he went off to IHES to visit Dennis Sullivan, who was out there um, visiting. And um, I had a wonderful new French dress that I had bought and I hopped on the train to go out to visit Jim and Dennis. I missed the correct train stop, but um, it became a very magical, memorable afternoon. And um, I just felt um, it was a beautiful summer and we had a barbecue and it was a beautiful, inspiring day. Well, that's, that's, that's great. Yeah, thanks. I certainly, uh, you look it for us. Uh, let me uh, ask uh, both of you, uh, I'll start with uh, Marilyn. What are your hopes for the IHES going forward? Uh, what would you like to uh, see uh, happen there? And, and uh, what would you, uh, what would be your advice? What would you say to other prospective donors who are considering supporting the IHES? Well, it's one of the world's most outstanding research institutes. And, you know, I, there are good places to support and there are great places to support. And I think that IHES is on the short list of great. And um, it, I can't speak to the mathematics, not being a mathematician, though I certainly know it has the most renowned mathematicians. But even as a non-mathematician, I'm always inspired to read the thoughts about life and culture and fundamental questions that we as humans wrestle with that come from the great thinkers at IHES. And um, in my office, I always have my IHES books around for inspiration and just ask, Emmanuel, do you have a new book coming out? So it is a great institution with the world's greatest thinker. So it is inspiring. Yes, yes, it's, it certainly is. Jim, would you like to add to that? Well, uh, that was extremely well said. And uh, you wanted to, you asked about the future. And uh, I think it, it's a pretty good size as it is. I don't think it needs to grow particularly. Uh, although maybe a few more positions wouldn't hurt, but um, it's 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 a very nice it's a very nice size, and uh, and the facilities are now excellent. So uh, it, as long as it can just continue uh, being such a great place, I'll be perfectly happy. Thanks, thanks. I uh, I, I, I agree. It, it, to, to continue to maintain its excellence, to do better. That's what we all have for it. But thank, thanks so much, uh, both of you for, uh, uh, you know, for, for, for speaking with us. Uh, I, I got a, a question from the audience, which uh, I think we have a minute. Uh, uh, we have, uh, of course, many, many demands. You, 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 you must have, you know, infinite demands on your uh, time and uh, generosity. And of course, uh, we have, for example, a medical crisis right now is why we are virtual. Now, uh, for someone who might ask themselves, why, why should I support mathematical and physical basic research when there are so many pressing needs around the world? What, what could you say to uh, encourage them? Well, 
I think that uh, applications of science uh, are very important, uh, but the science itself is what leads to those applications. So, in fact, during this period, we've taken some money from the foundation and uh, contributed to, re to COVID research itself. And uh, it's, that's, that's gone well. But um, the, uh, you know, the foundations of human knowledge lies in science and basic science. And basic science will often turn into applied science and uh, et cetera. Uh, my favorite story is I.I. Uh, I. Raby, the great physicist who uh, discovered nuclear magnetic resonance, and he, he won the Nobel Prize. It was a, a dramatic discovery. Then a few years later, a few guys came along and said, hey, well, well we can analyze materials uh, with, this, uh, uh, with this technique, nuclear magnetic resonance. And they won the Nobel Prize. And then finally, uh, two guys, one of whom was at Stony Brook actually, realized you could make pictures with this stuff. And uh, they didn't want to call it nuclear magnetic resonance. That sounded ominous. So they called it magnetic resonance imaging. Resonance imaging. And now I. I. Raby would be astounded to discover that there are hundreds of thousands of machines all over the world, which were there only because he discovered this uh, piece of base, did this piece of basic science. So that's, you never know where it'll go. You never know where it'll go. Math, math as well, so. Yes, yes, thanks. That, that is a, a, a great story and one of so many examples we could uh, list. Basic research turns into the research that improves and changes our lives. But thanks, thanks again, uh, Marilyn, Jim. It's, it's, it's been uh, wonderful hearing from you.